Hey guys, welcome back to day three of my Rust adventure. As you can see, I've done a little bit more work to the house. Uh, I finished the upper level, added some bars under the windows. Uh, I felt safe enough to uh, go ahead and put my sleeping bag over there. But, you know, I now have a place to store all of my stuff. Added some uh, metal doors so it would be more difficult for people to blow their way into here. It's always good to have uh, several stages of metal doors so people have to waste a lot of C4 in order, in order to uh, blow their way into your home. Uh, but yeah. Uh, at, uh, this is the point where, uh, once you have a, a steady place to live and survive and scavenge, then you just sort of, uh, run around trying to upgrade the stuff that you have, and, uh, just work really hard to maintain your standard of living, and try not to die too much. Uh, so this episode will be mostly me playing around and showing you some of the funner things to do in Rust. Uh, the server that I'm on, uh, I'm good friends with most of the guys who are on here and uh, we like to have events that happen every so often so uh, you'll get to enjoy that a little bit later um, and for your viewing pleasure I will make sure to keep the uh, nudity censoring on so you do not have to worry about flopping penises everywhere wow that was a weird laggy thing that just happened Okay. That was a weird deer. Okay guys, so um, you may be wondering why I'm not carrying anything. Uh, I'm actually leading a raid into a guy's house. I know- wait. This- this isn't it. Or maybe it is. Anyway, I'm leading a raid into a guy's house, uh, because while the other two guys were away, he decided to, uh, uh, blow holes into their house and come in and kill them while they were sleeping. So, uh, now they want revenge, so I am currently coming up with a decent way to uh, get into the house. It's actually funny. I recently gave uh, the guy who lives here advice on how to uh, make his house unenterable. So it's really funny that I'm trying to find a way to uh, break into the house now. Okay, and for those who are increasingly confused as to why I'm carrying C4, I actually managed to find some earlier. Uh, and luckily I had a research kit and stuff, so I can now craft C4 whenever I need to, although it costs a lot. But hey, I've got 5C4, and uh, I'm going to use it for an occasion such as this. Just because. Okay. Ugh. 
This room is just full of fucking spikes. He fixed some of his issues since I was last in here. That was the guy whose house we were in. Um, so for those who are wondering, uh, I actually helped Frogger intruder-proof his home, uh, basically, uh, a couple of hours ago. And it was really funny because he raided, uh, Fook and Coco's house while they were away and ended up killing them. And of course, they wanted revenge. So I led, so I, uh, led them into Frogger's house to get their revenge, but Frogger ended up coming back. I really think the mods are having a fun time with this little feud that's going on. Whoa! Daddy like. Okay guys, so an airdrop just hit, and I'm going after it. Alright, well there's one of them. There's more. <laughs> Everyone is looking for... There's, oh my goodness gracious. There is no way any of us are going to be able to go in there. Okay, well guys, time to kill Frogger. But that was all of my M4 ammo. Ah, well that was fun. Uh, a couple of nights ago, a lot of us from the server got together and we started having massive naked rock battles. And then you just pull out your rock and then you fight to the death. So yeah, I mean we have rock fights and melee battles. 
right here in this arena. And uh, the mods usually get together and they put a bunch of prizes behind these doors. And uh, whenever someone is the winner, they can go pick their prize from the doors. And it's usually like, you know, ammo, a gun, something like that. So yeah, this is just something I thought uh, you guys would enjoy seeing. Especially since this is technically just the third episode of my Rust series. Okay, so um, basically what happened, uh, there was a botched raid of Frogger's house. It was actually really funny. It kind of sparked a war between uh, Frogger and uh, Coco and Fook. But uh, it's really funny. I specifically told Fook and Coco that they weren't allowed to take anything from Frogger's house. It was merely a revenge mission because Frogger had previously broken into their house and killed them. Of course, they didn't take anything, though. It was just kind of as a joke. So, uh, that's what's been going on for the last five or ten minutes, but, uh, Co uh Coco and Fook have, uh, logged out since then. I think things have chilled out. Mm, Frogger, Coco, and the gang are all cool now. So, uh, Frogger and I are actually about to go raid another house. Uh, if you guys remember the first episode, my first day here, I came up upon that big metal house. And, uh, we're actually gonna go raid it bring in some C4 because I lost all the C4 I had while I was raiding his house so he has the C4 that I had so he's bringing it uh, but yeah this is basically the kind of stuff that happens once you start playing raid um, raid once you start <laughs> it's basically raid once you start uh, playing rust uh, you know you develop friendships some rivalries you know you start to, you get to know the people that play on your server and uh, you do stuff like this kind of fun. Okay, so Frogger is on his way, so I'm just waiting for him to show up. Uh, you're not going to have to uh, endure the agony of me just sitting here waiting and doing nothing, so uh, I'm skipping to Frogger getting here. Okay, so Frogger is behind me. He's following me. And we're going to be raiding that big metal house. How much C4 do you have? Actually, wait, let me see if I can climb in through one of the windows without having to use C4. Sweet. What is bullcrap? That was an absolute waste. Hello. Okay, so, uh, basically...
There's Evil Skunk oh, using his uber hatchet. Anyway, so that was a completely botched raid. Uh, and by botched, I mean there ended up being nothing in the house. And that's terrible. I don't like that. But hey, whatever. Um, I think that is entirely enough content for one episode. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz that you normally do for YouTube videos, but I don't care. Whatever. So, guys, if you want, you can uh, add me on Steam. Start playing Rust. If you want to join our server, you totally can. Uh, you know, if you like having big naked rock fights and giant ghost town battles with full Kevlar armor and awesome prizes and cool mods who are willing to do random stuff.